People often tell me that narrow gauge engines are more interesting than standard gauge ones due to their vast history and unique designs. But I say that can be the case of any gauge of engine, regardless of their background. Case in point, William Francis, the only standard gauge Bear Garrett left in the UK. She was built in 1937 for the Baddersley Colliery in Warwickshire and subsequently was one of only three UK Garrets built for industrial use. The colliery in question had a two mile climb which rose 240 feet and William Francis had to push 16 ton mineral wagons up gradients as steep as one in 23. All told, she could outpull an austerity by 32 tons, which may not sound like much, but bear in mind this garret weighs about the same as a Great Western Taffy Tank. Technically she's William Francis IV, as the name was previously carried by two industrial tank engines and a bloke. The engine worked continuously until 1956, when she was then given a full rebuild. But this rebuild couldn't have been full enough, as the engine was worn out again 10 years later and only good enough for scrap. Thankfully, a Mr. J.R. Price foresaw her significance and purchased her for preservation. In 1968, she became the first standard gauge engine to arrive at Brettingham Steam Museum in Norfolk, which is better known for housing ex Butlin's locomotives. And ever since, the engine has enjoyed a peaceful, easy retirement at Brettingham. There may be other Garrets in the UK, but perhaps amongst the countless South African exports that have since made it home, William Francis stands out as the most unique. Mm -hmm.